Hello and welcome to this short snippet video with me Adam Rose. In this video we're going to have a look at how you can do a section view in an assembly to only pass through certain components. I'm going to go back to SolidWorks and I've got a, I've got a model already opened up. It's this carving knife. What I'm going to do with this is to actually create a section view first of all. So if we were to do a standard section view you'll see that we don't really get any options about what we want to section through. We just have the option to section through everything. So what I'm going to show in this video is that how we can use the tools in the assembly to actually create a, a section view that we're looking for. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create an assembly level cut. I'm going to do a sketch on the right plane and I'm going to just create a simple rectangle around the area that I want to cut away. So this assembly level cut is going to be created with a revolve feature. So I'm just simply drawing out a rectangle which is going to be the revolve that I'm going to create. Okay so there's the rectangle fully defined and what I'll do now is I'll just use the assembly feature of revolve cut. Okay so I need to choose the center axis of this revolve which is going to be just here and then we can adjust the angle that we want to go through the assembly component. So I think I'll go to about 160 degrees. Okay obviously we have options in here to flip the direction if we want to. We could do this to any particular angle we're looking for. You'll see with a standard revolve cut, it does just like the normal section cut tool, just cut through all the components in the assembly. What we're really looking for is to edit this feature, and we need to use this feature scope down the bottom to actually choose what we want to section through. So this box is auto-populated last time I uh, created the tool. What I'll do is I'll just clear the selection in here, to then allow me to select only the components I want. So essentially what I'm going to do here is to section through the model taking away the outer casing but leaving the internals visible. So I'll select those two outer casing parts as the parts I'm going to section through and then just hit the tick. And you'll see that creates a really nice section view that we can use within a drawing or possibly for quite a nice render as well. The best way to use this if we're going to actually make use of it in a drawing is to just create two configurations of the part. So I'll just add a assembly configuration and I'm just going to call this section. Okay, and then in the default we can go in there and we can just suppress that cut. That then gives us two configurations which we can obviously choose when it comes to creating a drawing. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can create section views in your model. Obviously we don't have to use the revolve cut tool. We can use extruded cut as well or any of the, the cut tools. They all have that feature scope available within them. Okay, so thanks very much for watching and hopefully you'll be able to use some of that in the future. 